Ladies and gentlemen, I find myself before you. A voice from a distant past, with a tale that began not in the grand halls of Rome, but on the distant frontiers of the Empire. My meditations, the very reflections we shall explore today, were born in the solitude of military encampments, far from the luxuries of a palace. These were not writings intended for the public eye, nor philosophical treatises crafted for scholars. They were private dialogues with myself, reminders of principles and virtues, a guiding compass in the tumultuous seas of power and responsibility. In the quiet moments before dawn, I would pen these thoughts seeking understanding, clarity, and inner peace. Little did I know that these humble words would travel through time, resonating with generations yet unborn. It is my honor to share these reflections with you today. As we journey through the meditations that have transcended the boundaries of time and space, finding a home in the hearts and minds of seekers of wisdom across the ages. In the pursuit of strength and wisdom, I have found that one's true power lies not in external events, but within the mind. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. The quality of your thoughts shapes the happiness of your life. It is within the tranquility of our minds that we find contentment. Yet, understanding the self leads to higher virtues. Self-control becomes a gateway to a life of duty and integrity. What is the nature of a good man? There is no need for lengthy debate. Waste no more time arguing what a good man should be. Be one. The answer lies in action, in embodying the virtues we esteem. Every act, every moment is precious. Do every act of your life as though it were the very last act of your life. Life is fleeting, a transient whisper in the eternal cosmos. Each moment is an opportunity to act with integrity and purpose. Embrace it fully, with unwavering commitment to the principles that guide your soul. Life's ebb and flow teach us the acceptance of fate and the impermanence of all things. Accept the things to which fate binds you and love the people with whom fate brings you together, but do so with all your heart. Fate intertwines our lives in mysterious ways. We must embrace it with open hearts. The impermanence of existence is ever present. Everything is only for a day, both that which remembers and that which is remembered. All things pass and we must learn to navigate life with this understanding, finding peace in the transience of our existence. Wisdom and virtue guide us on our path, illuminating the way. The best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injury. Revenge clouds judgment and taints the soul. Rise above it, choose virtue, and allow wisdom to color your thoughts and actions. The very essence of our being is shaped by our thoughts. The soul becomes dyed with the color of its thoughts. Choose thoughts of virtue, compassion, and wisdom, for they will mold you into a being of integrity and grace. We are all part of a greater whole, interconnected in a cosmic dance. Consider the harmony that binds us. That which is not good for the beehive cannot be good for the bees. Our actions, our thoughts, our very essence, ripple through the fabric of existence, affecting those around us. Compassion becomes a guiding light Kindness is invincible, provided it's sincere. Genuine kindness, extended to friend and stranger alike, creates bonds that transcend the mundane. We must strive to be compassionate, recognizing the shared humanity that unites us all. As I reflect upon my meditations, my innermost thoughts and ponderings, I encourage you to embrace these truths, seek self-control, cultivate virtue, Accept the impermanence of life and recognize our interconnectedness. Dwell on the beauty of life. Watch the stars and see yourself running with them. For in understanding ourselves and the world around us, we find meaning, purpose, and profound joy. May these reflections serve as a beacon guiding you on your journey through the complex tapestry of existence. Farewell, dear friends, and may wisdom light your path. Thank you for journeying with us to the heart of ancient wisdom. Marcus Aurelius is indeed a fascinating figure. 
a man who held immense power, yet chose to live virtuously and ethically. His commitment to the stoic principles he wrote in Meditations stands as a timeless testament to the human capacity for goodness, reason, and integrity. If you feel there are other historical figures you'd like us to delve into, please let us know in the comments below. Your insights and curiosity guide our path. If we've earned your like and subscribe, we would be truly honored. Keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep learning.